The Angels said, if I'm going, he's got to go. And then they get a base hit. And Cabrera looked back at the umpire on his way out of the batter's box. Did you see what Angel Hernandez did? Cabrera hit it, looked back at Angel, and he went to throw him out of the game, and he just did. You know, and the thing about this ballpark, and this could take a little while, there's no exit from the third base auxiliary dugout. The Astros have their big clubhouse over there, but there's no way to leave the ballpark except to walk out the gate and right in the right field corner. So as Drupal is going to take his time here. <laughs> well, the umpire gets the last word, but as Drupal gets the last stroll right out of here. Oh, this is going to be treble. Gonzalez. see that again Charlie Williams down the line foul by as Maxwell smart would say missed it by that much look at Manta I'll tell you what now I thought the ball well, hit right on the line well so did Cookie Rojas I and here comes you. Valentine here he comes we're gonna get a shot of this I thought the ball was right on the line remember it doesn't have to hit inside the line any part of that white line all it has to do is nick it. Just get a little piece of that white line as a fair ball. Valentine Rojas is incensed. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. What's he doing? Wait he's, he, well, he's gone, he just hit him. Well, I, I know that, but I'm telling you this is what happened. I've been thrown out of two games with Charlie Williams, and he gets right in your face and says a lot of things. With this type of intensity, it's, it's a matter of baiting, and I hate to say it, and I don't want to see that. Any coach doing that. Cookie Rojas has been around a long time. This ball game means everything to everybody out there. He obviously, in his mind, knows that that play was missed. We're going to see it a little bit later. But Charlie Williams has a tendency to talk to umpires strong. I mean, to put to managers strongly. He once threw me out of a game when I was running out across the mound at second base. I never got there, and he threw me out of the game. Yikes. I tell you one thing, but there's one look. We got some more guys. You know, you know what? On that look, let's see. On that look, it looked. Hey, you know what? He, see, show that one more time, and I think everybody saw it was foul. Show that one more time, Dougie. The last one is the one for sure. There it is. I don't look. know. I don't I know. Do. I don't I know. Do. How do you know that white line is right there? All you got to do is nick it. Started. And Sheffield down looking at the curveball. In disbelief. Second strikeout for McDonald out of the bullpen. Uh, Gary Sheffield was ejected from the game by home plate umpire Marty Foster for arguing that call third strike. Uh, this is a nasty curveball by McDonald. Sheffield thinks that ball is low. I think it caught enough of the plate. You know, the overhead to see that. Foster saying it's a good pitch. And you can't argue balls and strikes. If you argue balls and strikes, you say the magic word. There it goes. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Another slider swung and missed. Totally tried for another pickoff, and he just oh. missed getting him. And now breaking for third. Davis has been thrown out of the game. Meanwhile, Barney goes to third. I believe time had been called, though. And now Terry Collins is out after Davis was ejected from the game. Gonzalez is the first base umpire, a very young, inexperienced umpire with a very quick hook. Quick hook, and he might have missed the play at first base. Watch I throw the tag down on the runner who takes his arm away, took his arm away, and then went around the base. So Ike did not make the tag. He might have gotten the second time. Yeah. Though. He missed the first swipe, but look at the second swipe. He got him. Oh, yeah. oh. That one hits worth and but Bartolo Colon has been ejected from the game. Mm. Well, Colon hit Desmond after LaRoche's home run, and now he hits Worth after Rendon's home run, and the home plate umpire, John Tumpain, immediately ejected Colon. And Terry, of course, will go out there to defend his pitcher. 
And whether there was intent or not, the circumstances, I think, certainly led Pompey to make that call. And that's on the outside corner, and he gets Granderson looking for the second time. Same pitch that Joe West called Curtis out on his first time up, and Curtis getting a little testing, which rarely happens. You never see Curtis argue, and Joe is the one with a very, very short fuse. He'd tell you to get in the dugout. I've, I've had it from him more than a few times. Okay, you had your say. Here's the overhead. I know Joe doesn't appreciate that. You know. It's a ball, but it's going to be like the Frank Holy Day. Oh, we got someone. Did he get Curtis, or was it one of the coaches? Might have been Kevin Long. Uh, Kevin's pointing now. That's oh, it's coach. Kevin that's going. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, he's, yeah he's, he got it. And it's in there. He got the backdoor slider, and now Murph is hot, and he's been ejected from the game. He got the second strike call on a pitch he thought was up. And he got punched out on the backdoor slider he thought was outside. Well, this is one of those pitches that goes around the plate. The hitter always sees that as it's starting outside, never comes back over the plate. Uh, I'd have to say too close to take for Murph. I can understand his argument, but when you're late in the game like this, and if you were to third the in the tenth inning, and this fly ball looks as though it will give the Mets the go-ahead run, but home plate umpire Ogie Donatelli sees it otherwise, and Yogi and the Mets just go wild. But if you ask me, what the heck is Donatelli doing sprawled out on the ground? And a high strike called by Doug Eddick. Wow. Again, they're all over him. That ball's up, and McGarris doesn't like it. The bench doesn't like it. And Eddings doesn't like it. Hey, Rabbits. And Eddings says, I don't want to hear anymore. He just threw somebody out of the game. Oh, uh, you know what? It was not Terry Collins. It was somebody down the bench who just got tossed. So, what do you... You, you got eyes in the side of your head. You can see who made, who made this, the, the noise. Well, John Neese is the one who's screaming at him. So it looks like Neese is the guy who's been thrown out of the game. And he goes down the steps. Well, Latroy Hawkins striking out Jay Bruce to get out of the jam. And then immediately started barking at Tom Hallion. And Hallion wasted no time throwing Hawkins out of the game. Well, Troy didn't carry. He wasn't coming back for a second inning anyway. And then Terry Collins came out to take up Latroy's case. And Hallion promptly threw Terry out of the game as well. Oh. Strike three call. And that time the plate got a little wider and record oh. been thrown out of the game. Out in this kind of oh, that's Angel. Uh, Angel's got a quick fuse. Well, Wrecker complaining that Hernandez is at a wide strike zone all night, made it a little wider, and he's getting himself in trouble now. And Tim Tuffle tries to steer him away, and Terry Collins will come out to take up the case. That I thought was low. And so we're going to the 12th, but without Anthony Recker, who's been ejected from the game. Oh! And that one sails over the head of Rupp and goes to the backstop. Oh, and him out. Robles has been ejected from the game. He didn't do it on purpose. And now we got some serious hard feelings between these two teams. Remember, Ruff was the batter that was up. When Roll was quick pitched in that game. Or was it rough? It might have been rough. Sorry, pinch hitting. I made a mistake. Boy, oh boy. Well, uh, Rupp has had himself a rough night in other areas, and he just saw one well, that, sail by his helmet. That was, and I guarantee you, that wasn't done on purpose. I don't think it was. And there's already bad blood this year too. Well, that's the thing. I think with all that's gone on in this season series, and again tonight with three batters hit, anytime a ball is up near a player's head, you that's can right. understand. 
I'll be very curious to see how tomorrow's game plays out. And not only will Robles be ejected, but Terry Collins will be ejected too. Remember, warnings were issued after Newenheis got, or after um, after Herrera was hit in the fifth inning. And that means that if there's any intent judged by the umpiring crew, the pitcher and his manager both get ejected. Did he just kick him out? He threw behind Utley. Did they just kick Syndergaard out? That's the one. That's unbelievable. Adam Hamari is the home plate umpire. He didn't even hit him. I think a warning could be issued, but not, you can't toss a guy for that. And now Collins is out. He couldn't care less, but Collins is going to get his money's worth. And Collins, in my opinion, is right. Here. And you know what you're doing, which no one thinks about as an umpire at the time? You just made it worse. Bryce Harper is not happy. And he's gone. And the Nats have one man left on the bench other than Wilson Ramos. And that's Dan Ugla. So an infielder is probably going to have to go into the outfield and play. And Bryce gets tossed. Runner going, they pitch out. Piazza's throw, not handled. And it's a stolen base, number 21 for Shannon Stewart. Wait a minute now. Uh oh. What happened here? Did he make contact with the glove? Oh, a catcher's? No, not a catcher's block. Rebeck awarded first base. Interference? I think Bobby Valentine. I think Bobby Valentine might be arguing that in an attempt to protect the base runner, Stewart stepped across home plate. Let's see if he crosses off right. You can make contact. Let's take a look again. Piazza goes out for the pitch out. I don't even see Rebeck. I know. I don't know what they called right there. I have no idea what. They call Piazza way out in front. Maybe they're saying he's too far out in front, and Grebeck didn't have an opportunity to even throw the bat at the ball. Now, I'll tell you what, if Grebeck throws the bat at the ball, he hits Piazza. And a lot of times on a pitch out, a hitter will throw the bat at the ball. I think from that angle, that was the call that Piazza got out too yeah, quickly. Couldn't do it. And now Ricky leads off the bottom of the 13th against Graham Lloyd and takes a strike. So it'll be Henderson, Alfonso, and remember now, the pitcher is in the third slot with John Olerud having been replaced as part of a double switch. Bobby Valentine, the dugout. Mike, give me that again. Well, Bobby was thrown out on that catcher's interference call, and he's gone incognito. At least as ball four. Oh, no, strike three. Darnell is punched out. The latest victim of the Toby Basner strike hunt. Well, lesson not learned. Well, let's see where this pitch is. Uh, usually, that ball on the other side of the plate is not called for a strike. It's also probably a little low. And David Wright has just been thrown out of the game, I think. Was it Wright or was it Darno got thrown out? Wright got called out on a low pitch earlier in the game and clearly was incensed. And pretty sure David's been rough. And it's the same thing you hear all the time. The players are telling the umpire, you should just pay attention to the field because he's having a hard time, hard time enough doing that. Well, Joe Madden said last week with instant replay, it's been a love fest between the managers yeah. and the umpires. But not when it comes to balls and strikes. There's no I'm replay sure available. Was one, but somebody got thrown out. Terry Collins gave him a little uh, a peek into the past. Uh, you see, if you can read lips, David just said, you are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Someone called David's coming thrown out. Yep, David's taking his bats and going home. 